Hi, I'm Allie Blazing with HTV, and we're here with Kanani Danielson for the Rainbow Hine volleyball team. So, Kanani, what is your earliest memory of playing volleyball? Like, when did it all start? For me, it started when I was watching my parents play for the bank leagues. They, I remember we were at Lanakila Gym, and I was really little back then, and I was pretty much just throwing the ball against the wall, and because I always have to wait for their games to be over. And then after that, my parents finally put me into like this little Manoa Girls Athletic Club League, and I got to get more of an experience of what volleyball is like. And you know, those are just my most cherished moments because that's when I just like found my passion for the game. You are now a Rainbow Ahine volleyball player. What does that mean to you? I think it's an accomplishment, uh, considering that I'm a Hawaiian local kid. You know, that's went through the whole school system here on this island and then went ahead and got a full scholarship here, especially as one of the players on the court right now. And, you know, a, a lot of it is, it's a, it's a blessing. It's an honor to be a part of this program. And it's a, a great accomplishment for me to make sure that my family's right there watching. You played at Kamehameha, you grew up in Eva Beach, and now you're playing for, you know, UH. Is it crazy to know that like your fans have followed you all the way through? I think it's awesome to know that there are fans that, you know, have watched me since, you know, baby times. And I get a few of them that's like, oh, I remember when you were playing Kamehameha or even at, like, Word of Life. And I'm just like, wow, like, I didn't think people would remember that far back. But it, especially with my name change, you know, it's a lot of it's like, oh, or, did you get married? I'm just like, no, <laughs> it was just for my family. But, you know, it's a it's an amazing experience that a lot of people do not get to, ex you know, go through. And, you know, I'm happy to say that I'm one of them, that it's rare to find that someone that's born and raised here can also finish college, their whole experience here. What do you plan to do after you graduate here? Well, I'm not planning to work anytime soon. I'm not ready to, you know, change that reality scene yet. So for me, I would like to go overseas and play professional volleyball. And hopefully, you know, things work out well. I, I kind of want to do like that whole experience like um, how Robin did. Maybe not through Olympics too much. I, I don't know exactly where I would be for the Olympic side, but I really want to just it, take volleyball as long as I can while my body allows me. You made it to a thousand kills and a thousand digs, and you're one of the seventh players in record history to do that. So what does that mean to you? I think it's amazing of how you would you wouldn't really imagine how everything kind of tallies up within your four years just because of all the swings and all of the attempts that you have to go through like especially as an outside hitter you're the one getting the most of the the sets or you know any kind of off play it's coming to you and you know can you put it away and you know it's it's amazing when you only see a, a limited amount of people that reach that that landmark you know I, when uh, they announced it to me when we, we were on the road you know, I was kind of shocked because I was expecting for me to be like the 50th or, you know, something really like down, like everybody's went through this whole thing. And, you know, I'm only the seventh, you know, it's, that is amazing. I know there's going to be more players that, that'll hit it, but to be a part of that landmark, I think that's amazing because it, it's a nice way to show that, you know, I've been working hard and it's paying off. My most memorable moment would be when we played against Washington here my freshman year. We went to five. We were down 2-0. We were supposed to lose the third set. Well, we came out of nowhere, just had that fight in us to take care of the third, of course, take care of the fourth, and then the fifth, we were supposed to lose that set. And we somehow got it going to where it ended in our favor. Washington was like favored to win and they're a powerful team, awesome players. And then, the, but my teammates were amazing. They're right there hanging in there and, you know, cheering me on, I was cheering them on. And, you know, it was a great overall team effort. Gotten so close to getting your team to getting a championship. Mm -hmm. So is this gonna be the year or what is the ultimate goal for the rest of the season? My ultimate goal is to bring back that championship, you know, being the one of the oldest on the team. I just want to see us, you know, go as far as we can. And I know we have the potential to get all the way to the championship spot. This is Talking Story with Kanani Danielson. Thank you and best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you.